According to the Mental Health Association in Delaware, mental illness is a major public health problem, with one in five Americans experiencing depression or anxiety disorders every year. This means more than 100,000 Delawareans, including children, are affected by these illnesses annually. Depression, if left untreated, is as costly to the American economy as heart disease or AIDS. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, the annual cost of depression in the United States is estimated to be $43.7 billion in loss of productivity, absenteeism, treatment costs, and mortality. The Mental Health Association in Delaware, MHA, is a statewide nonprofit organization. MHA provides services throughout Delaware and focuses on education, support, and advocacy for mental health issues. Today, I will share a three-part conversation about mental illness, suicide awareness, substance use disorder with three individuals who have battled and overcame. Meet James Cephas. He's the director of Mental Health Court Peers at Mental Health Association. We help them navigate through life. We show them how to do certain things, you know, how to live life on life terms, um, how to, you know, just, you know, be with somebody that has the same experience as far as lived experience, be it mental health problems or substance abuse. James suffered with both substance use disorder and mental illness for 20 years. My first experience with with drugs, I was about 19 years old, but before that, at the age of 13, I lost my mother. And not being able to grieve, not, 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 not really, you know, not knowing, you know, how to grieve, not knowing how to cry for help because I was in so much pain. It just stayed inside me. The older I got, the angrier I got. You know, the more I was confused. And the more, you know, I thought about, you know, her leaving and then, you know, a different, you know, just all these situations in one. When I got introduced to heroin when I was 19 years old, it was just introduced as, hey, try this, this make you feel better. You know, I tried it. And not only did it make me feel better, it made me feel like a, a Superman. It made me forget all about all the pain I was in. So I stayed on that, that feeling. I rode that feeling for 20 years. And in the midst of that 20 years, I became homeless. You know what I mean? I went to jail. You know, I've been to institutions. You know, I've been all those things that, you know, that I'm helping now. Nothing worth having comes easy. James said the hardest part was learning to love himself again. The hardest part of recovery for me was loving myself and learning who I was all over again. Because at 19, at 13, let's say 13, like everything stopped. Emotionally, it all stopped. At 39 years old, I was still thinking like a 13-year-old child. And I say that because that's when everything stopped for me. So I would still act like a 13-year-old child at 39 years old. I want what I want when I want it, you know? And when I realized that, that thinking, that my thinking was wrong, you know what I mean? It was a process of now getting to know myself all over again, which was the hardest process of doing something for 20 years and now saying I'm not going to do it no more. You know, learning how to sleep, learning how to eat, learning how to just be in this world, you know, without being addicted to no substance. That was the hardest thing for me because I never thought I could stop. You know, I never thought that it would be a way out. You know, but by, you know, the grace of my higher power and these programs, peer support, things like that, you know, it's, it's possible. You know, I'm living proof, I'm a miracle. You know, if anybody knows me, and if they see me, they know that I'm a miracle. Because the things I did, and, 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 and you know, the things I did, and also, you know, all the places that I was at, you know, it's by the grace of God that I'm still here. Childhood trauma is a leading cause of mental illness. James said kids need to know at a young age that drugs are not the answer. His lifestyle caused him to miss 20 years of his daughter's life. She's my best friend, you know, but it took some time. Things don't happen overnight. Mind you, you know, I was using drugs for 20 years. So for her first 20 years of her life, basically, I wasn't even, I was there, but I wasn't there. I wasn't a father. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it, you know what I mean? I chose drugs over her at every chance I got. It wasn't until 2009 that I started to rebuild a relationship with her. And it was a process that was both painful and enlightening because not only was I learning myself, I was learning her too. And she had a lot of resentments at the time. 
because I wasn't there. So I had to deal with those resentments. I had to be strong enough to let her do what she needed to do and say what she needed to say so she can get better as well as myself get better. And once I allowed that to happen, we had the perfect relationship today. James shared his word of advice for those still fighting with substance use disorder and mental illness. You don't need those things. You know, that if I would have stayed on a straight path, you know, I would be doing something entirely different. But things happen for a reason. I don't regret nothing I've been through because if I didn't go through those things, I wouldn't be here today. So I also try to just keep her, you know, focused on things that's in front of her. You know, be, you know, just be aware of friends that's offering you different things. You know, just be, you know, just be aware of everything around you and just keep moving forward. Like any other illness left untreated, it can cause an array of health problems. If you need help or looking for some resources to help someone you know, please contact the Mental Health Association at 302-654-6833.